Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. As promised in yesterday's video, we will be going to the church today. But before that, yeah, that is my working place. I don't really know if I ever have showed you this real place like, yeah, as close as this one. So you have the entrance. On one side, you basically have a lot of windows where the cafeteria is behind. On the other side, you have HR, meeting rooms and yeah. and. Everything behind is basically the factory and uh, the offices. Yeah, today you can see it actually has snowed again, which is pretty crazy. And it is unfortunately again really warm. So all the snow that was coming down yesterday evening, yeah, is kind of slushy already. Let's see what the path will bring us to today. So I also have my drone with me because on the way there, there are some nice spots that I really want to, yeah, take my drone out and just see if I can make cool shots. But, yeah, the weather is unfortunately not as nice as it was this morning. It is, yeah, basically cloudy. <laughs> this morning there was still a lot of sunlight, but I went shopping with my landlord again. And then I went into cutting the video, um, cleaning some clothes. So yeah, and it's already like after two. I, I don't even want to know actually. Ah, well, just check it out. Yeah, it's it's 2.40 right now. I think it is like 30 minutes to the church from here. So that, then flying around with the drone. So I think I will be home probably around five, but that's fine. That's totally fine. There actually, can you see it? I think so. There's the closest bus stop, which you can take. A lot of people take that when they go to work or yeah, go home after work. If you want to go like on a different bus um, route, then you have to walk actually to the church. So yeah, this is kind of crazy. Of course, on the other side of my area, there's also a bus stop. And I think this one is even more convenient. But if you are working here, well, that's the the only option you basically have. Okay, so I will see you in a bit when something crazy or interesting, yeah, appears. Right here, we have the famous mailbox that caused me travel. This is the one basically now close to the main street. This road, we go to Sanmina and basically there we have Fjell Raven. I think I have seen this brand a lot in Germany. It just randomly popped up and then, however, it also basically disappeared very fast again. So no idea. I also have no idea how I am able to cross the street, but I think I have a solution. Back there again, Fjell Raven fabric, so factory. Um, no idea if this is also the headquarter, but I think they are located here. So maybe this is the, the headquarter also. We are now walking under the E4, which is basically the main road going up to the north on the on the coast side. So nothing too special, just an ugly bridge. But already behind the bridge, we can have a glimpse at the church. So take a look for yourself. Down there, you can already see it. Yeah. And there we have houses. I always wondered, like, I don't want to live there between the main road going to the city or to the north and the entrance to the street to the north. We have passed the bridge and therefore we are inside of the church. So it is not that far anymore. We have the river on the right side. And yeah, so right in front, this small building right there, this seems like a, yeah, like a campground actually. Um, so, and also like a resting place. I think that is the, um, the area where I want to start my drone. But I think I will go to the church first and then check it out later. And if you're wondering why I did not really show you more of my um, workplace. Well, first of all, I don't really know if I would trigger any alarm system when I go on the parking lot. <laughs> so I was just like, nah, not, not really needed. And second of all, well, I also want to keep some secrets, you know. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I would say we have made it. We are on our way to the church. As you can see, the trees left and right are, yeah, more grown in than on the picture. So I don't really think it is possible to recreate the image. Stop, stop, stop. It is definitely possible to recreate this image if I would have been smart enough to realize that I am on the wrong path to the church. On the right side, there's another one. And if we check the drawing, you can see that the church is drawn from this perspective. But you can also see that the church is drawn there during summertime. So this is definitely something that I will be trying to recreate during this summer. But yeah, nice, nice, nice. Now I can at least say I have been here. Okay, guys, that's it. <laughs> well, at least for my, my walking away from home, I can actually hear people singing inside and also an organ. So crazy. But of course it's Easter, so probably there's a reason for that. It was actually a bit hilly to walk up here, didn't expect that. But now, yeah, at least walking once around it, that would be a nice thing. It really looks nice. <laughs> I don't know guys, can you see that seating area down there on the other side of the river? I don't know, it's like a very small spot right there, probably. That seems like a good spot for me to take out my drone. Make, yeah, some flying underneath that bridge, flying in this direction, and also get some more distant shots from that building. Oh, wait, look at this. That seems interesting. Oops, uh, there's a lot of snow here. You basically have a way out right there, but I don't really know where it leads to because <laughs> right in front of that gate, well, there is, well, there is no way. So the, basically the only way is probably going somewhere there. One thing that I of course also want to do when I'm already here is take a look at the high coast, which you can see basically right there in the, in the yeah, in the distance. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. Looks really cool here. Oh, oh, but I'm actually, yeah, I did not eat anything. Oh, okay. oh, I have spotted another cool place where you could probably also take a seat right there. Oh, I think that is an even better spot because you're very close to the high coast. So it's a good scenery for drone footage. I think I will go with that. I would say I have definitely found the coolest spot for drone flying right here. I also think this is going to be pretty awesome in the summer. So there's the seating area and now let's take a look yourself towards yeah, this nice spot for drone flying. Wow, I really don't even know if I'm allowed to fly here. I will check it out in my drone map. If not, then well, that's just life. But the crazy thing is always just like you can see so many marks from snow scooters, so from snowmobiles and footprints from people walking over this lake there too. Crazy, really crazy. I am now finished with flying my drone. I have not even used one whole battery, but I also yeah, have realized very fast that there is not too much that I can really yeah, do right here or not too much um, that is in my creative mind that I want to yeah, wanna do. But now it's time to head back home. I will give you one last update at that seating area close to the river and yeah so now I really have to also heat up my hands because even though it is just plus two degrees I start losing sensation <laughs> so yeah well going to be fine okay we are now at Schellewarts Frielüftzentral 
So yeah, let's see what you can find here. Um, yeah, I got told this is like a campground. I cannot really think that this is true because it looks kind of small and very close to the roads. But there are some buildings here and also a lot of seating um, possibilities. So that looks nice. Maybe you can sleep in those, where that makes more sense. You have a lot of grilling areas, picnic tables. We have a QR code. If you want to try, maybe you can scan this QR code. Oh, yes, this is the area where you can go onto the pier. So if I want to take a nice cold little swim, in the ice water, this is my opportunity. <laughs> well, I don't want to try. I'm scared that this is just too shocking for me if I'm not well prepared. That is pretty cool. So this right here is a sauna. And there's your cooling opportunity after the sauna. Nice. That is, oh wow, that is really cool. So how much do you have to pay? Um, so when you want to go to the sauna, it costs 50 crowns, but I think they still have to heat it up. So I don't think it's running all the time. I don't want to try now. Maybe someone is in, in there. But if you want to be a member where you can also, yeah. Oh, nice opportunity, right? This is really cool. That is awesome. Didn't know that. Maybe I will do that in the summer or when friends are over and they want to go do something crazy. Well, we just go into the bastu in the sauna and then after that we go into the frozen water. Well, that was a yeah nice experience today. I have learned that there's a sauna. I know the church and know that it's really looking cool. So, well, at least I know more from the area now and maybe i will end up at this place sooner or later we will yeah we will see but that is it for today's video so i hope you enjoyed it tomorrow we are going back straight into the reactions i think tomorrow is the reaction of czechia so a very very controversial song but only probably based on the well the live performance but you will see tomorrow so I hope you had a wonderful day and we will see each other, yeah, in the next video. Bye bye.